Hello people, it's Blitz here. Welcome back to another episode of Planet Coaster. I've done a lot of work off cam, but as I said, um, I'm just going to play around with the, the game at the moment, especially when it's uh, early access. As you can see, I'm just putting some platforms down. Change it from uh, wood to, con to concrete or stone. Yeah, basically, in this episode, we, we just do uh, some filling, add some trees, bushes, add some rocks, uh, and at the end of it, we uh, we do some terraforming. Uh, we get to have some fun with the, the, uh, the terraforming tool. And if you remember in episode one, I was having a nightmare trying to put the coaster through a hole. And now I played around with the terraforming tool. It's actually easier to do it the other way around. Build your coaster, imagine where you want to go. Because uh, when you do terraforming, it's got built-in collision, so you can like wrap it round your track. Track really. Um, you can touch it up as well afterwards. So we we'll have fun with that later. So I'm just going through the props here at the moment. There's so many of them, uh, decoration-wise. And there's that, believe it or not, there's actually quite a lot of bits missing. Now, if you use the brick walls, uh, as in the brick texture ones and the wood texture we actually get different shaped roofs um, I mean it's quite a, as I call them, low, low style roof but, uh, the other one's got very high tall versions which I would like to have added to this well, I think I would have been on a pilot thing it would have gone down a lot better but uh, they're not available yet so we just have to wait and see what comes in the next update We find some new bugs since 2.2, but um, it's early access and you just have to put up with it. I've got no idea why that happens. I don't know if that's me or I'll do something wrong. Put the winner in place, the press done, and then it goes back to where it was before. Uh, no idea why. Why it works it out yet. Okay, let's have a quick look at the park. Okay, I plan to um, do a mound here, put a, a ride in on the right hand side and one on the left hand side of the path. Great bit of kit this uh, for me tool. So it's quite a uh, bit getting used to though, uh, especially if you want to do some special parts and and shape it. It's all good fun. Want to check if I ain't got the same ride in the beginning. Don't want to the same ride twice now, do we? The octopus.
That's what my idea as a creation. I've designed about six buildings, uh, which I will put in the next episode. Um, you go with a pilot thing, so it looks like you've got both bits sticking out and um, got weird shaped uh, buildings. Uh, you've got decking, um, like ship masts sticking up all over the place. Just go with the pilot theme. And I'm going to do some for the rides as well. Just so we don't have uh, the, the normal stuff like a, a ride out in the open, like I just done here. Uh, like, it's like the same in every park. We just try and make uh, rides, buildings unique to your park. That's how I like making stuff. I like being different. Yeah, I noticed the. Um, since Alpha 2.2. Uh, when you used to make the the Q path, a little blue dot used to come up, or a blue light used to come up, saying, OK, now you can add uh, the sign and uh, the Q master in position. Um, but now it doesn't seem to happen, and half the time it don't want to connect to a path. So I had to move it to another location, change the path altogether, problem solved. I don't know if it's on the forums, I'm not really checked. But um, it's not going to take you, I wouldn't say a major bug, it's just, uh, you just got to remember that's a high rise there, um, don't try and touch things to the high rise, it just don't go, or I'd say a raised path. Okay, we'll stick the old hammerhead in. It's a bit peculiar when you think about it. I mean, when you do the terraforming, as I said, it moulds itself around rides and buildings to land. Come to a path, uh, you get all sorts of bugs and God knows what. Got a couple of flamethrowers going off here. Might have to move them. But I might get uh, start roasting a few people. So here we've got the same problem again. It doesn't highlight. It should highlight. And then uh, well we have we found it connect to the other side. Um, and the path just uh, the graphics on the path have gone out of, out of shape. So we can't can't put it there. Unless it lines up properly. It seems all theme park games at the moment have a, a buggy path. Must be the um, 2016 thing. Okay, we're building another path, another shape. Try two. That works, you know, it went um, a bit crazy. Got there in the end. I just got to move the uh, Q bar for a second time. Well, I mean, it's all good fun to a degree. It's all part of being um, on early access, find out what the problems are, let the devs know. So now I put the path in, um, I've got to find another bug. Grass coming through the path. Right, let's try and flatten it out a bit. Oh. Okay, maybe not flatten it out. <laughs> this got something done.
I'm not quite sure why we haven't got a water feature in it in the game yet. Um, I've got a funny feeling. Of, well, I'll take a guess. I reckon the water um, is going to give the game quite a slowdown. That's a, my guess. And when it comes, I hope it has waterfalls because I do like waterfalls in the game. I think RC3 was fantastic with waterfalls. I mean, if you just look at the swimming pools and anything like that, they're just awesome. Uh, in my opinion, water elements uh, in these style of games, these theme park games, are, are a must. Now, how good their game engine is, I don't know, but I did read on the net saying this is actually an updated version of RC3 engine. So, right, it's now got the, the 3D element added to it. That's obviously a lot more processing power required. If you're wondering what my specs are um, on my computer, it's an Intel 4970, uh, 4GB turbo to 4.4, 4. uh, 16 gig of uh, DR3 memory, and an AMD 7870 graphic card, which uh, according to the website uh, just makes it into the category. So there's quite a higher requirement on graphic card in the, on this game, so quite surprised me. Being a theme park game, um, now obviously there's only a certain that sort of person who plays these type of games, and I thought I would open the category quite a lot. I don't know many people out there got laptops and said, "Well, oh, I can't play." But I'm telling you, that's going to be your reason. If you ain't got a dedicated gaming laptop. Uh, I think you're out of luck. Now I do plan to buy graphic card between September or October. Now, uh, I'm not sure what I'm looking at yet. I've looked at a 1080i in Nvidia, sort of range card, 600 quid, a lot of money, a lot of power though, a lot of block power and a lot more power to what I've got at the moment. Um, but AMD's cards come out I think they're releasing on the 29th of June. Yeah, mid-range cards. Still about five times, six times faster than what I've got here. Um, the 1080i have been about ten times faster. But um, AMD, I think in October they are releasing their version of a 1080i. Okay, I'm just going around a part, show you what I've done. Now I added this bit here, um, and that building off cam. I've actually thought I was recording this part of the roller coaster, but uh, some odd reason uh, I've certainly I'm not recorded it. So I'm sorry for that. But we can have a, a run through it and see what it looks like. Okay, what I plan to do here, uh, do some terraforming. I'm going to wrap around that 
um, a big mountain around that coaster uh, end piece. Uh, this is one, like I said, it automatically it's got a collision built into the uh, turf for me. Just going to try and make it the right shape. I mean, I love this. This is a uh, uh, just that. I mean, this is what I. I think this is the best part of the game. Better game. To be honest with you. Now, I've not made a ton of win this game yet. Um, I'm pretty sure it says in 2.2 you can make tunnels. I've not tried making a tunnel yet. I'll have to give that a go um, in the next episode. A few things at a time. I'm going to get carried away. I mean, to be honest, when uh, I mean, everyone loves, it's like, okay, I want to make a tunnel and go straight for that rock. To be honest, I mean, in theory, I've got a tunnel just been built. To um, touch it up a bit. Um, then we have a look, look at the coaster again. What it's like going around it. What we do, we come back and stick a few rocks on it. Make a bit more um, madness looking. I don't want to carry it cut it off completely. I thought we'll get some light in there. But then you, uh, when you get your old camera on the old coaster, the outside cam, you can see it fly around, this, around the edges. Looks so much better. So they're just sticking straight enough a dark tunnel. Can't really see what's going on then. You don't actually need to do what I was doing, um, but I don't know. Come down here and have some fun with the tool. Using the edging tool, uh, I think there's one called a chisel, which uh, makes it dense in it. The only bad thing about it, you know, um, we can't change, change the textures as such. I can put sand on it, sand ain't going to go with it. Uh, it would be nice if we had like a, like a, a silvery grey rock. Um, I think to myself, well, try add these two together.
Yeah, this one, um, brush size, if you want to call it, uh, so it's smallest size. But the sunny guys are extremely slow at building stuff. Yeah, I don't look too bad. I'll leave this space open for get another ride in here. Not quite sure of what yet. Okay, let's have a look at the coaster. When it decides to go. I have noticed, um, I don't know if it's a bug or it's just not been implemented yet. Some of the coasters don't have no pieces. You can just make, you can just make track. It's just up, down, left, right. Um, they've got those set pieces. I'm not quite sure what that, what that is. Uh, it's a bit beyond me. I don't understand it all. Uh, certain coasters can only be accelerated. One is gone. It certainly makes a difference in the appearance. Go through it out. Quite like that. I'm going to do another bit now. Yeah, I'm going to do a bit down here on this ravine. Now, when water comes, um, Venus is actually down in the shallows. There will be water here as well, so um, it looked quite good. Going around in the loop, seeing water, going around the cliff. I think it'll be um, quite fantastic on camera when we get there. That's if we come back to the party. Yes. That's it. I might want to do uh, one more episode after this. So it's just so like a practice run. What can be done? What I might try and do, I might try and make a cave as such. A large cavern. Um, sit a roller coaster for it. That could be quite fun. Be a bit dark. Oh, yeah, I suppose you'll have to look at it like a you in a mine. Indian Jones style. Yeah, we need to get um, get some preps in where we can actually really shape uh, the rock side. It comes out extremely round at the moment.
I don't know what other features they plan to uh, give us on terraforming. I don't believe, well it might be, I'm not be checked uh, if you can actually set the height. So um, I really wish that the next feature they ever give us is to do the lighting. If there is, um, I've not found it, I wait to turn the well, stop the sun going down. When you actually want to do any creation work or, or make any buildings, or actually or doing anything in the game actually, uh, when that sun goes in, it gets quite hard to see what you're doing. rocks in there, can't see much. But that's another feature I like, uh, where you can actually put rocks into the ground, so then you can make uh, loads of different rock shapes. So, excellent, especially when you turn them around. Okay, let's check out the coast again. I'll leave you with this. Um, I'll catch you in the last episode of, of this series. So enjoy the ride, and I'll see you in part three. Blitz out. <laughs>